up, Sauce Gang, and welcome back to the channel. Hot Sauce Beats are with a banger reaction for you, and this one I have been saving, and it is Sunday night, so I figured why not? Because we are checking out, in a nutshell,s why aliens might already be on their way to the U.S. And fam, you guys have been hyping this up ever since we watched uh, In a Nutshell for the very first time. Something about like how the aliens are going to kill us all or something. But I'm super stoked to check this out and see what kind of invasion they might be predicting. I know by the end of this, I'm going to be absolutely terrified and I'm probably going to never watch Men in Black again. But before we check this out, make sure you show In a Nutshell some love by subscribing to their channel. And fam, we are starting a movement on the YouTube because we have officially passed 100k subs and we're moving our way to a quarter million next. So make sure you smash that subscribe button. Join the Souls Gang family. But enough talking. Let's get to reacting and roll that bomb ass intro. Hot sauce beats is finally here. Hot sauce beats is finally here. Eat, sleep, make beats. Eat, sleep, make beats. Hot sauce beats. Oh, it's time to be terrified of aliens. The hey. universe is magnificent and vast. Hundreds of billions of galaxies, trillions of stars, and even more planets. If yes, even infinite the planets. fraction are habitable, then the universe should be teeming with life. And yet we see nothing, only vast emptiness. Oh, we know. Where we know there's aliens and, and we've seen them. The answer to this riddle could be as exciting as it is creepy. <laughs> we are <laughs> They're early, here. born before almost all other life. But very soon, this may change. Not only might aliens appear, they could quickly surround us. An irreversible competition for the universe might be about to begin. Stop it! Uh. Bum, 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 bum. Time to be scared, what? While this video is based on scientific papers, we're presenting interesting ideas based on little data and lots of extrapolation. So the chat, make sure you remember this is a theory. This isn't 100% facts, it's a theory. So regardless of whether or not you agree or disagree with it, it's just a theory. It's meant to be educational, have fun. And scare the living poop out of you. Take them with a grain of salt. A okay. grain of salt and some poop. We need to look at three essential we'll questions to out. understand the galactic competition. One, how fast can bacteria build spaceships? To become a starfaring civilization, life as we know it needs to master a number of very hard steps. It starts with dead stuff turning into the building blocks of life. Then it yeah, needs to stuff. organize into self-contained cells. Those cells have to learn to work together to form multicellular organisms. This keeps going until complex creatures with big brains learn to use tools and language. Civilization has to be formed from cultures that value progress and technological development. And then they need to actually venture out beyond their home planet. On Earth, life appeared basically as soon as the oceans formed. But then it took two billion years to make the step from single cells to multicellular organisms Sheesh. and two billion Dude, more. That's for a us couple to years, appear. chat. Culture, civilization, and space travel developed super quickly, though. Do things always take that long, or was this actually exceptionally fast? Also, passing one step does not mean the next one is guaranteed. Multicellularity yeah, scary, chat. <laughs> evolved over 25 times independently on Earth, but there's only one species that builds spaceships. We don't know how many steps life needs to pass. Unless, have you seen Planet of the Apes? You know, <laughs> there's a little bit of a different story there. And how long <laughs> they take to give rise to a technological civilization, but there are probably many, and it's likely that on trillions of planets, life has been trying for billions of years. Since we don't see any other technological civilizations out there, it might well be that we are a rare exception. We might be among the first, or even the first technological civilization in the Milky Way. Or the last? But this is just one piece of the puzzle. On top of that, we may have just hit the perfect time window. Why does humanity exist now? The universe is already 13.8 billion years old, Dude, but that's crazy. it's unlikely... Th that's such a tough number to even grasp. Like, it is literally unfathomable to grasp that number. ...that many other technological civilizations had a chance to appear before us. Because in the earlier universe, life would have had a pretty hard time to emerge, let alone thrive, because it was such a hostile environment. Early stars constantly blew up, 
galaxies crashed into each other, and supermassive black holes vomited massive amounts of radiation, enough to sterilize galaxies over and over again. Our sun was born right at the end of this cosmic death show. The universe has never cosmic been more welcoming show. to life than it is now. So humanity has arrived at a very convenient spot in time, maybe the earliest reasonably possible for life to thrive. What about the future? The sun burns brighter than 90% of the stars in our galaxy and will keep getting brighter. In about a billion years, it will boil all of Earth's oceans and then become a giant that swallows it whole. So in the galactic context, the sun is very short-lived. Most stars are red dwarfs that can sustain habitable planets for tens of trillions of years. Life on these planets has an incredibly long time window to appear and pass the hard steps. Even knowing nothing about how rare or common life is, Jesus, this dude. makes it way more likely for technological civilizations to appear sometime in the future than in the past. Because if civilizations appear at random in the Milky Way within a time window of a trillion years, then very few, if any, would appear before today. Then a couple more arrive in this period of a billion years that we're in before all star-faring civilizations that could ever exist emerge altogether. This weird tsunami-like distribution is the result of both the hard steps model and something else. Jesus, a sort of dude. deadline for any spacefaring civilization. Any civilization coming after will find it hard to have room to survive, so all potential life has to cram in before it. Humanity exists now because otherwise we might have missed this deadline. Now here's the thing. I don't, you never know what to believe, what not to believe in the news, you know, aliens, blah, 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 blah. I just, I feel like aliens already, call me crazy, you might in the comments, but it's whatever. I think aliens already exist. I think they've already been here. I don't know. It is what it is. Just, peace, love, and positivity, bro. That's all. Hey, can we all be kind to one another? Like, I'm, I'm fine with aliens. Just, I hope they're fine with me. You know, hot sauce beats finally here. What? <laughs> What, or who, creates this deadline? Why aren't aliens already on Earth? Humans are curious, expansionist, and hungry for energy. We've spread over the world and made it our own. Our technology has been improving over time, first slowly, then breathtakingly fast. If these things don't change drastically, and our descendants want to prosper, they will expand into space. We could construct a Dyson Swarm for endless energy and transform planets into new homes. We could cross interstellar distances, allowing us to reach for planets around distant stars. If we have the motivation, we can become a galactic civilization. A civilization that does this sort of stuff can be called loud because its activity creates loud, eh? noise. Turn on the volume, please, it's too loud. From far away. Imagine someone in a forest, cutting down trees, starting fires, and laying down roads. The more intense their work, the easier they are to notice. An expanding technological True. civilization would probably be hard to miss. Our telescopes would pick up all that energy, and we would clearly identify artificial interference with stars and planets. Another consequence of this business is that it's very disruptive to the environment. Clearing a forest means the end of its wildlife. Human activity has left no chance for a squirrel civilization to appear. Not because we hated squirrels, it's simply that the thought that they might want to do that at some point never crossed our minds and we needed wood. Similarly, hey, if squirrel civilizations were running around the galaxy in the past, terraforming planets or harvesting the energy of stars, they may have prevented our existence. Had aliens started colonizing Earth while we were still sludge in the oceans, that sludge would never have turned into humans. This is how loud aliens create a deadline for new civilizations appearing. The galaxy may have trillions of years to create so life, we but basically there may only be a are short window for it to spread and thrive. Planet destroyers. Even if a loud civilization respects planets with naturally occurring life and expands around them like humans do with wildlife reserves, any civilization on such a planet would not be able to expand ever. Trapped forever on a forever. tiny Forever. But here we are. So loud aliens were probably never here. What about aliens that don't expand? 
they would be quiet aliens. They're probably the sneaky ones, to the one ninjas. star system and Ninja don't have aliens. a noticeable impact on their cosmic surroundings. Humanity is like this right now. We wouldn't be able to detect ourselves from the other side of the Milky Way. If they stay quiet forever, maybe because of their culture or abilities, then they are not really a concern for us. We only have one sample to draw from, humanity. And right now, we are on the path to becoming loud. If we're not special and succeed anyway, then any other civilization with the motivation and resources to would eventually expand beyond its planet of origin. Okay, what are the consequences of all these assumptions and ideas? Grave consequences. Race uh, to the stars. The worst kind. If we are really early, then eventually others will catch up with us. Civilizations will emerge all over the place. And these new aliens will look at space, see no signs of life, and come to the same conclusion. They exist because loud civilizations have not yet taken over everything. But it only takes one loud civilization Bro, that is terrifying to, to think of. of the entire galaxy. I've never heard them referred to like loud us, and quiet. They face an important decision. Do they stay quiet, take it easy, and tend to their planet for as long as possible, or do they start expanding to take a chunk of the galaxy before someone else arrives? Meeting others does not necessarily mean war or conflict, but it I means that not. new borders will arise, <laughs> limits that may persist forever. In the worst case, a civilization could be completely enveloped by the empires of others, eternally doomed to be a galactic backwater without control we over their fate. Some guardians of the galaxy, so chat. if we want a seat at the galactic adult's table, we best get to work. If we really are early, we have an incredible opportunity to mold thousands or even millions of planets according to our vision and dreams. And one day when we meet others, we can greet them and meet them as equals. Uh, we come nice? in peace. Uh, if yes. you want to explore the vast universe from the comfort of your own home, we come in peace. Uh, uh, thank you very much. Let me bring it in chat. Yep, I'm gonna have nightmares about aliens tonight because, and I just brought up the wrong screen. <laughs> Shucks. Anyways, dude. Yeah, I again. Uh, you know, regardless of the facts on here again it's all just theories but i believe i'm not saying i'm a big conspiracy theorist or anything i just believe aliens have already been here um we're just talking about the galaxy here i believe other stuff from outside of our galaxy can visit us i don't know dude i just hope everything's peaceful and we can all exist in the space time continuum peacefully which as we know we can't even be peaceful on our planet so odds are very slim anyways let me know what you guys think. I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure you show In A Nutshell some love by subscribing to their channel. And fam, if you enjoyed my reaction, please smash that subscribe button. Join Saul's gang family. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. And remember, anti sleep and make beats. And as usual, be kind one another. That's all I got. Boom, I'm out. Gonna be love for the Saul's gang.